Why is my phone like wigging out like crazy? All right, where's the uh, combo? Are you guys gonna play on Come on, go, no. Alright everyone, sorry for the wait, we're back now. We got uh, Danky King and Paco up against each other now. Uh, both of them top three players in their region. Paco from NorCal, Danky King coming all the way from Washington to play here today. And I believe uh, Paco made it out number one in his pool. I don't know how Danky King did, or maybe they both didn't make it out number one. Need to double check that one. Paco with a really good edge guard on Danky King there. Very good at those ledge cancels with those quick attacks. You know, so many different angles to right. keep his opponent yeah. off guard. I was playing um, Danky King earlier in friendlies. He was really, really on points. Kirby's playing really solidly today. Yeah. Um, yeah, both of these guys definitely are playing solid. Finds a back throw, that'll do it there. Just take one more stock to end this game. Oh, it messes up the quick yes, attack. But doesn't get punished for it. Yeah. Finds a really good combo on the Kirby there. Yeah. Just needs an edge guard here, but Dinky King so crafty, able to get back. Dude, his, his pivot, his pivot up tilts. Are yeah. really clean. Jinky's got some of the best pivot up tilts I've ever seen. It's uh, Trey Dozer and Cox, Andy. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
Damn. It's a it's captain that uh, that unknown scrub from NorCal that somehow gets the privilege of putting all this together. Hey, hold on now. <laughs> You're a link player. That makes you extra special. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The extra special scrub. Paco able to keep Danky King off stage again. Oh, and he comes back again. Oh, but that back throw will end. Yeah. Paco going up. And I doubt we'll see any character switches from either of these characters or any of these players. At least in this set. Danky King, I've only seen him play Kirby in bracket except for doubles. Uh, Paco will almost uh, strictly go Pikachu. I think Danky King's been like really working for his, his uh, Kirby. Yeah. Uh, top eight is best out of five. Yes, uh, top eight will be best of five. The rest of this will be best of three. Uh, three. I'll go getting it started with another uh, another back throw. I like the drift he had at the at the ledge, like putting pressure against Yankee King, not really letting him breathe. Yeah, that's what you got to do against Kirby. You, when he's off stage, you need to be very diligent with your edge guards, because you and I, you want to get that character dead as quickly as possible. Make one little mistake, and it could be uh, it could be a one way trip to Pain Town. Right. Like, I think one very underrated aspect of, you know, high-level play is not necessarily just the positioning, but also the way you adapt with your drift. You know, it's one thing to be in the right position at the right time, but if you're able to follow your opponent's drift as they're drifting in and out wow. and putting pressure either with back airs or just with a threat of talking, putting out a back air. Talking of pressure, Paco with a very clean edge guard on Danky King there. Just one back air, one up air after another, and he's lining up to do it again. Oh, he's able to drift back in stage there, though. Oh, I love that. Love that pressure on shield. Yeah. 2 0 Blondie. That's horse. Wild. Yep. Is that on? Yeah, thank you. Do I have a match yet? Uh, you're playing loser of H, which is uh, okay, loser of this. And Paco right now with a, a fairly decent lead on uh, Danky Kang of two stocks. But again, considering how this matchup goes, it's really about who gets the bigger punish game, right, once you win neutral. Uh, um, like, I, I obviously, so, yeah. you know, Pikachu does have a slightly better time in neutral. Uh, but, like, Kirby can get just as strong punishes as Pikachu can if yeah. he gets that up to all that down air. Russ is just, oh, great. I'll say great angle from Paco getting above the uh, down air. But then it's going to meet the F smash to the blast zone. Yeah, I think you can kind of put him in checkmate with that edge guard. If that downer doesn't get you, that forward smash will. Paco able to just find a simple grab, just doing Pikachu stuff. Both these characters and both of these players able to get a ton of percent off of their first touch. And you know they're both going to be looking for that. Paco, no. so good at getting so much percent off of a grab. Dinky King getting those up tilts, those down airs. He's able to get a lot started, like just like that, that down air into up tilt. Yeah, can you get the follow up? Not quite, but gets 57% out of it. And finds a forward smash, gets the Pikachu off stage, but Pikachu probably oh, mixes, the, mixes it up with singles out. Probably the hardest character to edge guard. It's, unless you know your opponent's patterns, it's more or yeah. less a guessing game out there. And then there's certain situations where you know the Pikachu has to up be at a certain angle in order to make it back. But there are certain moments where, like, if the Pikachu is strong enough, they can mix it up. Yep. And as we say that, Paco and drags him is. off stage, yeah. finds that back air, and seals the set. And just like that, uh, Genesis 9's champion is in the loser's round of the fir after the first round of the top 16. Going undefeated last year, he's already taken a loss, so he's going to need a strong loser's run if he wants to repeat now. And that includes going through the famous She-Man, who won 7 and 8. 